In about a third of our counties, the vaccination rate for African American people is higher than it is for whites. In this push for vaccine equity, that sounds like progress. But tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is digging deeper into why a problem comes with that. A study finds the places where the vaccination rate is higher for blacks also face a lot more issues with COVID. And one expert says there's a simple explanation. Is there's actually a larger percentage of the white population that remains unvaccinated. Nick Stewart is a researcher at Sergo Ventures, a public health think tank. He says many of those counties saw more cases and triple the death rate compared to other counties. And what this does is it, it exposes these counties to worse adverse um, COVID related health risks, such as increased cases and especially deaths. In many spots, the black rate is higher, not necessarily because they're doing a better job, but because the numbers for whites are so low. And that is really, since they are the majority population, that they are bringing down the overall vaccination rate for those counties. Here's an example from central North Carolina. In Hoke County, 29% of black people are fully vaccinated. That's low, but for whites, it's even worse, just 21%. And because that county is mostly white, it explains why they have the lowest rate in the state. So it really brings us back to the fact that this data is telling us that uh, vaccination rates overall are tied to uh, worse COVID outcomes. In all, there are 22 counties in North Carolina where the rate for blacks is higher than for whites. Most of those are rural. And while access is an issue there, Stewart says it's more likely that the bigger problem is the hesitancy. So what's the solution? Stewart has a few ideas, and you can find out what they are in my story online. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.